What's good, everyone? It feels so good to be back here on YouTube, y'all. It's been about like five to six years. Like, damn, that's a long ass time. But we here and it just feels great. And I just cannot wait to just sit here, talk with you guys. I want this channel to be about curls, but not only curls, I also want it to be lifestyle. It could just be about being a mom, married. I want this channel to be where you come on, you watch, you're getting ready you learn some tips or we just sit here and talk now today's topic is actually gonna be about transitioning back to your natural texture I can't wait to dive into that the first step is determining the condition of your curl now by determining that is doing whether you have damage from coloring from bleaching keratin perm relaxer or just heat damage by using a flat iron Using any of those chemicals or flat iron can actually alter the curl and your elasticity can be gone. And what elasticity is, how the curl jumps back into its natural state. For example, if I pull down this curl and I bring it up, you see how it bounces back up? And what happens is when the elasticity is gone, you notice that the curl starts to look straighter and it doesn't curl anymore. So by determining the condition, you'll be able to decide whether what route you need to take next probably wondering like what the hell route what route are you supposed to take listen it's all right it's only two routes and it's nothing that crazy it might be a little crazy I don't know. we'll get into it so the first one is a big chop now big chop is pretty self-explanatory you just cut it all off you go short now I get it and I completely understand if you don't want to do that like I have clients that they don't want to go that route because they don't want to go that short and I I can't blame them because I actually did the same thing I took the transition route now the transitions route is that you're gonna let your hair grow out. You're gonna let all that damage grow out and have all that new healthy curls. And what you could do is every three, four months, you could start trimming off that dead ends. And you're gonna see within a couple months, your curls are gonna come back. Now for the transitioning, I would give it about a good solid year to get enough grow out so your curls can look popping and juicy again. All right, is that it? Well, there's a couple extra tips I wanna talk about because during your transition period, you wanna make sure that you're not straightening your hair anymore. You wanna make sure you're not coloring, doing any of those chemical services. Because the, if you really think about it, if you're trying to get your curls back and if you continue on straightening, coloring, you're really taking steps back and you don't wanna do that. So during this time period, stay away from any chemicals, heat, color. Now, if you need to touch up your roots, just touch up the roots. Don't touch the rest of your hair. And most importantly, stay on top of your mask. Hydrate those curls, especially the new healthy curls that's coming in. Get a mask, do it once a week, and you're gonna see. You're gonna see such a huge difference. And I can't wait to see your curly journey and the results that you'll get.